What's going on guys? It is Wyatt and today is kind of a sad day. Uh, if you guys have seen the title and the thumbnail, uh, you'll probably have a good idea of what we're going to be talking about. But before I jump into telling you guys what's going on and what the title means, uh, I've kind of put together a little montage of everything that we've done on the channel in the past, I think, four years now that I've been uploading to it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how good it's going to turn out, but uh, I think it'll be pretty cool. Kind of highlight all the way back from the beginning of our channel up until now. Uh, some of the projects we've worked on, some of the places we've explored, and some of the people we've met. You know, because of YouTube, I've had a lot of great opportunities to meet people, uh, go do cool things. Uh, whether I filmed it all or not, um, it's really afforded me a great amount of joy to be able to do things like that. So. Yeah, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and roll this little montage of the projects that we've been able to do here. And then we will get into talking about what today's video means.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that little montage. Um, knowing my dumb ass, it probably wasn't the greatest because I'm really not that great at editing stuff. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it kind of showcased some of the cool things that we were able to do here. Um, some of the cool projects I was able to share with you guys and whatnot. But uh, if you guys weren't paying attention, the whole montage had one thing in common and that was either, well I guess two things, I guess either way how you look at it. Uh, the thing it had in common with all of those clips is all of the projects were done here at my shop. Um, they were all done here or, you know, PFI or Kyle's or whatever. It was all done here in Colorado at one of our good friends' shops. And, you know, like I was saying earlier, I've been able to meet some awesome people through the whole YouTube thing. And I've had great friends by my side through this whole thing uh, that have really, you know, in one way or another helped the channel, helped with a project on the channel, done something in a positive way for me and the channel. And I want to thank those guys. You guys know who you are. Um, there's a ton of you that have been involved with it from the beginning. So do appreciate it. Um, another thing, like I was mentioning, there was two things that they had in common. And one of them was they were built in a shop with good friends here in Colorado. Or secondly, they were just filmed here in Colorado. And it's been a lot of fun. You know, whether we were wheeling the Jeep up at Bunce School Road or building cars or going to the drag strip or whatever it was, it all shared the thing of it being here in Colorado. Now, you guys are probably thinking, well, at least I hope it's conveyed it, you guys might be thinking that uh, I'm gonna close the channel down or stop uploading or something like that, but the joke's on you. We're actually not doing that. Uh, the reason I mentioned Colorado is because I have lived here my entire life. If you guys don't know, I am only 23 years old and I have lived in Colorado for those 23 years. I really love it here. I love the scenery. I love, well, the scenery, that's about it. You know, I really don't get along with a lot of the people here. Um, I just don't really like the vibe of Colorado, really. Uh, I do love the mountains. I love hunting, I love fishing, but um, a certain group of people are really been trying to limit that way of lifestyle here for a long time. And I just don't really fit in with them. So I've been considering moving for a while now. And I finally took the plunge. I shut down my business. I actually went to work for another guy for a little while um, between this transition. So I want to give a big shout out to Cody at 626 Performance. If any of my Colorado people are watching this and you guys need your trucks worked on, make sure to hit him up. He's up in Fort Collins. Um, so I want to say thank you to him. He gave me a great opportunity to come work for him between this whole transition and kind of figuring out what I want to do. And long story short, I am leaving Colorado. Uh, maybe not for good, but for right now, it seems to be the direction I want to go. So that being said, I'm not going to tell you guys where we're heading until I get there. You'll probably see it on my Instagram before I post it on YouTube. So if you don't, make sure to go follow my Instagram. It's right up here on the screen. Let me get a good background. There you go, it's right there on the screen. And make sure to follow me on there because you guys will know where I wind up before YouTube does. Because you know me, I'm slacker. I don't upload often or as much or as frequently or as quick as I should, damn it. But yeah, I am leaving Colorado. So kind of didn't really prepare this video very well. This is actually the night before I am hitting loading, getting in the truck. I'm already loaded. It's the night before I'm getting in the truck to take off to our new, take off on our new adventure. So kind of at a loss for words. It's actually kind of sad. I'm, you know, it's hitting way harder or closer to home than I thought it was going to. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to miss some things about Colorado, but I think this is an awesome opportunity and it's going to work out really well. Well guys, I'm not quite sure where I left off last night. I think I was just about to jump into a time lapse, um, but I figured I'd give you a little intro. So today is the next day, it's Thursday. I got the rest of my stuff loaded in the trailer uh, and partially in the truck, all of my you know bed and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we got that all done this morning, hopped on the road about 11 o'clock. It is currently four o'clock and we're making pretty good progress. So far the truck's doing great. Uh, the trailer is pulling pretty decent. Um, I've had some slight worries about that because the axles aren't really in great alignment. But so far, so good. 
Uh, hopefully it'll hold out until we get to where we're going. Um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Like I said, the biggest thing to me is that the truck's doing good so far. Uh, I went ahead and checked the oil. I'm going to go ahead and check the coolant one more time. Um, and yeah, should be good to go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the time lapse of what we've gotten going so far and hopefully the time lapse of the rest of our journey down to the new destination. Uh, 